All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this video, all the praise, honor, and glory goes into Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha, Rakak, Wadash. The bonus to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. All right, and teach me and tell me this truth. And to you, hopeful like brothers out there, all right, may you brothers, you know, continue to push forward in the faith, all right, and continue to push the doctrine of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Salutations to you, brothers out there. So, <clears throat> this uh, I was watching a live stream uh, from the elder brothers out there in uh, Louisiana, GMS Louisiana Saints. Uh, they also have another page, GMS Louisiana Saints too. All right, so subscribe and be edified. So this uh, this video first off was inspired. You know, by how about Shemiah was shot. And, you know, it's just a, uh, kind of just a land backing off of uh, this video that the elder brothers were doing in, uh, in regards to who we are. All right. We were not, you know, this isn't a religion. You know, this is who we are. All right. You Negroes, Latinos. West Indians, Haitians, you know, so-called uh, South Americans, you know, Central Americans, you know, people in, in the islands, you know, like the like the Bahamas, so-called Jamaica, so-called Cuba, you know, so on and so forth, and also you you uh, scattered Israelite foreigners who look like the other nations, but your line actually goes back to Israel. You you are the princes, I right, am princesses of the power, man. This this isn't. Nothing average, you know. We're we're actually starting off with the other apostles, right? We're actually preaching, right? Salvation and, and us being perfect in the kingdom, you know. And this and it is is beautiful when you think about it. It's, it's overwhelming. You know, and it's it's a honor to you know bring this word out. So let me just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna press the play button and let you know the elder brother speak for a second. And um, you know, it, this just led me them speaking on this just led me to Romans uh, chapter nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play this. It's the book of Ephesians chapter three verse eight. It says unto me. Whom less than the least of all saints is this grace given that I shall preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the, minister, uh, the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in our power who created all things by the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. To which, the intent. Go, which, let go and tell you that Yahweh Shai. Is the creator of all things, man. All right, and it also goes into the, the fellowship of the mystery. All right, which is just true, because even though this is a this is it's crazy, this is the mystery that's that's in plain sight of people, and they still can't get it, man. It's in plain sight. All right, we we teach on the highways and byways week in and week out, and people still can't get it. But yeah, it, it, it's plain to us, but it's a mystery to the world. All right, it's this is a mystery to, to know. It's so easy, man, that Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, a so-called man of color from the tribe of Judah, man. That the Most High is a man of color. That the that the that the, the promises in the kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites, man. That's a mystery to to, to most in the world, All man. Right, so I'm gonna pause it. But yet it's plain yeah. unto us. Go ahead. I the uh. The elder made a very good point, right? That this is a promise, okay? So that's the spirit. I'm gonna actually start off at the top. Uh, Roman, and this is, you know, this is uh, one that I read over uh, a lot. The spirit just has me uh, to go over it a lot because once again, you know, every brother has his certain um, measure. You know, there's certain things I, I don't go into because I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know the breakdown. You know, and that's okay to say. A lot of brothers, you know, they, you know, they want to know all, you know, all the breakdowns, 
you know, not through the spirit and power of Yahabashim Yahashai, you know, collectively, you know, the whole, you know, the whole body, you know, has the answers, but certain brothers have, have you know, a certain level of understanding. So I'm not going to say I got a level, you know, 50 understanding if I only have a level 7 understanding, you know. <clears throat> okay, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we 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 are the Israelites, man. We're not we're not perfect right now. Okay, but in the kingdom, we're gonna be perfect. We gonna we are gonna be the ultimate uh know it alls in the kingdom. You know, and we're we're prac we're we're rehearsing the righteous acts. Alright, but anyways, <clears throat> Salakia. Romans uh, chapter nine and verse one. I say the truth and my shock, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. So that's another confirmation that you being in the spirit, you know what I mean? You're not gonna lie. We're not we're not gonna say, oh, you can eat whatever you want, you can do whatever you do. That's that's not the spirit. Alright? That's not that's not being in the spirit. Okay, it says verse two. I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Okay, and why is that? For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach, from my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, which, you know, uh, Paul being sent out on this uh, on this ministry by Yahweh Shai, you know, and the story of that is in the scriptures. You know, basically, directly, the Lord basically sent out Paul by putting the spirit, you know, which the spirit, which the spirit was already in him, but basically activating that spirit in him to do the will of Yahweh Shem You know, <clears throat> so he was he was uh, convicted. We were convicted when we first heard when we first heard this truth. You know, the brothers that do teach right now were like, man, you know, you know, I gotta I gotta do my part. You know, and we all we all made that oath. We all made that. Even before we knew that we were going to make an oath, we made an oath. You know, we all, every brother that teaches right now, you know, said in their head, you know, Lord, if you can just, you know, give me this knowledge, wisdom, and, and understanding, and, and, you know, I, if, if I can be, you know, saved and have salvation, you know, I'll give up, you know, everything, you know. My, my woman, my family, you know, and the Lord did that. He He's now, we may still f physically st still see our family. You may physically uh, still have things, but s spiritually, you're sent away. You, we're not even on the same uh, uh, um, uh, frequency, so to speak, you know. We're on two completely different radio channels. See, we're on uh uh uh, uh we're, right now we're on 144.7 FM. Okay? They're on 66 uh, 0.6 FM, man. That's that's not going to jive. So we're we're on a completely different wave, so to speak, man. A whole different wavelength. Okay? And that's one of the reasons why if you see here it says uh, verse 3 for our could wish that my self workers from whom I shot for my brethren, my kinsmen according uh, to the flesh. Right? He's really he's speaking about the elect. Okay. It says verse four, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the and how are you adopted into something if you don't belong in the first place? So all these other nations want to all of a sudden all these other nations they want to crowd in. They want to be a part of the covenant, covenant, you know, and that's that's just not the case here. The only people who are being uh, adopted back into the grace of Yahweh Shemayah Shai are the children of Yahweh Shemayah Shai, which are the Israelites. All right, like you damn Moabites, uh, Ammon, you know, Ishmael, Ham, so on and so forth. If you if you ain't Israel, you know, just like how they say in the world, if if you ain't first, you're last. Okay? 
If you ain't number one, if you ain't numero uno, it don't matter if you're second, third, fourth. That don't matter, man. Okay? We hold the uh, gold medal, so to speak. <clears throat> and they don't even get a silver and a bronze or nothing. You just, everything after gold, all right, is just, just empty waterlogged wood. All right, it says, uh, continuing on. And the glory and the covenants and the and see this this was a covenant that was established uh where Abraham right Abraham Isaac and then uh Jacob <clears throat> so Abraham was told you know that your you know your your children's children children will be given a certain inheritance which was really speaking about Jacob. <clears throat> uh, and it, it explains that it explains that in the scriptures. Everything is explained in the scriptures, you know, and the elder apostle Gabar, you know, made a great point about just letting the scriptures speak. <clears throat> you know, we don't have to ramble on for 15, 20 minutes with our own, uh, you know, uh, vain philosophy we we can just prove everything through the scriptures that's why every time we do a video the, the scriptures are, are very close by you know we don't do a video without the scriptures now of course brothers you know may upload a video you know just a little two minute video of you know something current happening or something like that but as far as a brother do, you know doing a sit down video you don't just see a brother doing a sit down video with without the scriptures nearby you know <clears throat> Uh, it says, uh, anywho, it says, and the covenants and the giving of the law. So the law was given to the children of Israel. Law wasn't given to these other nations. Right? And the service of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So nobody else can serve the Lord. Right? You got a lot of these, you, you know, young devils. Oh, we're servants, you know. And we're servants, we're servants of the Lord. Well, who can serve the Lord? Specifically, Israelite men. Now, of course, women can serve the Lord by, uh, you know, uh, be uh, doing right by their husband. You know, but they can't. Uh, uh, Israelite women can't go out on highway <laughs> on the highways and byways. That's going off. You know, it says in the scriptures, I, you know, I suffer a woman not to teach. All right. It, it, it just, just you know, do the duties of a woman. Okay, it says, <clears throat> continuing on, and the service of Yahweh Shemayim Shai and the promises. It says, whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is over all Yahweh Shemayim Shai, blessed forever, Amen. So, Abraham had Isaac. Isaac had Esau, then he had Jacob. Okay. And, and, and you know, we all know how, how the story goes. Esau got finessed. So J Jacob is the rightful heir. That's just how it is. They can be mad. They can whine, cry, sigh. They can do whatever they want to do. To their blue in the face. We, we got the covenant. We got the promises. You know, and we, you know. We have the giving of the law, which is which is a lot of responsibility too. All right, you damn devils, you you really don't want, you just want um. The end part, you just want the kingdom to be yours. You don't want to have to go through the curses. You you didn't you know y'all never went through uh, slavery. Y'all never went through the curses. You're not you're not going through anything. All right, that's why it says in the scripture in the scriptures you know. Rejoice, O oh, daughter of Edom. Look at y'all. You having the time of your life. You going out. You doing your thing, especially now. You know, so-called uh, spring break and, and summer break and all this. And see, really, all you trying to be be like is is the so-called white man. See the so-called white man going, but see, you going to uh, uh, Houston, Texas. You going to my, you know, you going to Miami. Where are Esau going? Esau going to the Swiss Alps on your ass. He going, he going there to Fiji. 
Trinidad and, and Tobago. He going to places you, 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 you ain't going like that. He going to New Zealand. All right, so he going all as far as the the earthly bullshit. He's gonna always uh, out outrank you. He's gonna outrank you until the Lord comes back. It says, verse 6, Not as though the word of Yahweh Shemashai hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So you have you have Israel, you know, you have the Israelites, and then you have the 144,000 and, and the one-thirds who are, you know, who are also Israelites, but they're at the top. They're the, they're the cream of the crop, so to speak. <clears throat> you know, you got the wine fat, <laughs> and then you got the wine you know what I mean you got the choice wine and then you just got the wine fat see when that when that wine press gets to popping and you know when when Jacob's trouble gets to popping you know the missiles okay well even the chip even the chip by you taking the chip right if you're an Israelite you become the one thirds or it's like it it's like it if you take the chip you become the two thirds Sorry, that was a, that was a slip of the tongue. So lock it. <clears throat> Let me once again reiterate that if you take the chip, you automatically become the two thirds. No, there is not going to be one Israelite who takes that chip, and it's found as the elect. If you take that chip, you're going to be destroyed. All right, point point blank. Uh, period. Let's see if I can find that. I know it's at the very beginning. Okay, that's what it is. The water, the water. Yeah, by Shimon Shai. Revelation 16, and I'll start off at 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of Yahweh by Shimon Shai upon the earth. And it reads, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had which had the MOTB and upon them which worshipped his image. So hey, so if you worshiping if you worshiping his image, you didn't took the MOTB. Nobody's gonna be out here worshiping uh, uh you know the image of the beast and you don't and you don't have the mark. Alright? If you if you are worshiping his image, then you're gonna take the mark, right, in order to, to uh, solidify your alliance. To, see, this, this, this damn devil, he wants, he wants everything. He wants your soul, man. They feel a noisome and grievous sore. So, you know, people are going to be screaming, man. People are going to be, people going to be screaming. You know, says verse 3 and the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea and it became as the blood of a dead man and every living soul died in the sea and the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters and they became blood so these people getting it these people just being judged man And see when people when people start when people start uh, 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 perishing in these extremely large numbers, that's when things are gonna get heavy. That's when you know, and even then people are still gonna be cursing 
the name of the Lord, they're still going to be cursing out the Lord. Oh, why would the Lord do this? You know? It says, verse 5, it says, And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. All right? It says, for the end, and Yahweh Shai is the Alpha and Omega. And, and who sent him? Who sent Yahweh Shai? Yahweh. Okay? It says, for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. It's beautiful. Because, you know, we're, you know, we're also going to be catching a super specific type of hell. Some of us, you know. Because as this is going on, as this is going on, you know, you, you, basically, we've been speaking on this the whole time. So once this really starts taking off, once these prophecies you know, really start popping, okay, they, then they're going to get extremely physical with us. Verse 7, and I heard another out of the altar say, even so, Lord, power almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men and men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of Yahweh Shemiah which had power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. Yeah, so you even though people, they're going to be getting bombarded they're gonna be getting hit with missiles they're gonna be getting hit. all all types of, of fire weapons you know you got the missiles you got the lasers you got you got the, the hypersonic missile all t all types of stuff man it says <clears throat> all right and they didn't give him any glory why because you can't Give Yahweh glory without giving Yahweh Shai glory. That's why it says lowercase H I M. Because you're gonna have guys say, "Yo, oh, you know, Yahweh, Yahweh, the, you know, calling out the calling out the name of the heavenly Father." But you, you forgot Yahweh Shai. That's like you got a you got a a, a, a remote but with no batteries in it. You know. Yeah, there's no way that you're gonna be able to do anything without that 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 um kind of uh, um, what, what do you call it a mediator, you know? <clears throat> it says right and and uh, it's like you, but you know we're we're worshiping the image of Yahweh Shai. That's why they're looking at us like we're like we're just. Like we didn't just lost our minds or something, because while they're setting up the image, uh, uh, the image of the beast, we're actively right now worshiping the image of how about Shimi how it shot. You know, so it's literally good versus evil. Now remember that e evil, right? Evil is after good. They don't call it they don't call it a battle of evil versus good. No, it's the battle of good versus evil. Good is always going to be first place, man. You know? It says verse 10. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain. And blasphemed the power of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Yeah, yeah, get ready. Get ready, man. Because that's what's gonna be coming, okay? It says verse 13, I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Okay, so what's coming out of E? You know all these weirdo you know, religions and activities, right? What's com what's coming out of the beast? What's coming out of the beast? Right, U unity, right? Everybody being up under 
uh, uh, one world accord. They're trying to do everything that's going to be established by Yahweh. But they're trying to do it on the left hand side. Now, when the Lord returns, everybody's going to be under one accord through Yahweh Yahweh. You ain't going to be making your own factions like how they have here. No, you're going to do what the Lord wants. Okay? Or you know what's going to get happen. You're going to get hit with that damn rod, man. Well, Salaki, you're going to get hit with that blessed rod. Because at that, at that point, we're going to be perfect. Okay? So that, that's, something, hey, that's something beautiful to look forward to, man. That's something that's going to be happening very, very soon. This is why we read these things, man. This, this ain't something that that is is just this is made up. Like this is just some fairy tale. We're read we're reading things that have happened and are going to happen. Okay, this, this is something that's it's going to happen in our lifetime, and it's happening right now. Are we not seeing these different things take place before our eyes? Are we, are we not seeing the setup of this image, right? This image of the beast. Are we, are we not seeing the people uh, uh, come against the saints? Are we in that time? Okay. Anyways, it says, uh, and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. What's coming out of the mouth of the false prophet? You know what's coming out of his damn mouth. All right, everybody. Nothing's going on. Everybody, lo love. Love each other. Don't don't. We don't see color. We don't see we don't see uh, um, gender. We don't see you know uh, um, uh, race. We, <laughs> this this is all about race. This is literally all about race. You got is you got Israel. You got Yasha Allah. He 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 prince power. Right. You got he he prince of the power. And you got everybody else. Everybody else don't matter, man. So all so everything that's coming out of the mouth of the dragon, everything that's coming out of the, the mouth of the beast, and everything that's coming out of the mouth of the false prophet is BS, man. And it explains uh, uh, what those are specifically. Verse 14. For they are the spirits of devils. So you lying, man. All liars. So the dragon is a liar. The beast, liars. The false prophet, liars, man. All liars. It says, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of Yahweh Shai Almighty. It's basically you, you just gathering, you warming up, you warming up to get destroyed, man. So you working miracles, you doing all types of stuff. It's stuff that he's doing, right, through these different uh, programs. D D A R P A, you know. The different the different alpha, alphabets, the different three letter alphabets, you know. The C I blank. The F blank I. You know what I mean? All these different covert weirdo groups, man. Cause you you can't say that all these different um groups that they're meant to push uh good. Right? Now, I'm sure you got guys, you know, within those different groups that think they're doing the right thing or whatever the case is. But for the most part, they, they know what they're doing as a whole. They know, they know what's going on. <clears throat> Alright, it says verse 15. Behold, I come as a thief. I come as a thief. So this is how I shall speak. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So this truth, this wisdom, it, it, it covers us like a garment. So what the people want to do is they want to toss the chili on us. We got the white garment on. It's clean. They want to, they want to you know, they want to spit their spittle. They want to flick, you know, they want to flick their grease on us. They want to spill their wine on us. You know, and, and first off, well, first they want us to take take our garment off. Oh no, you you y'all aren't the Israelites. Y'all don't know the scriptures, right? Y'all don't know who y'all are. Y'all are just black. Y'all are just y'all are just uh, Hispanics. Y'all are just Native Americans. Y'all are just uh, 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 Caribbeans. Y'all are just you 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 you're just Mexicans. Right, they come up with all these different terms when in reality we're the Israelites. So they they literally want to take our clothes off. 
They want to take this garment from us, man. And we need we need this garment to, to go to the wedding. Right? We got to be vigilant. We got to be watching. It's things it's things happening every every single day. We got to turn up more through the, you know through the spirit. Okay, it says verse 16, and he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. It says, uh, and the word is escaping me. That name in the in the Hebrew. It's escaping me right now. It says, verse 17, and the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. Hey, and once we hear that, once we hear that in the Hebrew, these people, they're going to fucking freak out. We're, hey, hey, we, you think, you think we're going to have a smile on, on our face when this is happening? Now we're going to have a, you know, we're going to have a, a, a smile in the sense that we know, we know that salvation is coming. But at the same time, you know, we're we going to be scared too. All right, it's scary just thinking about it. Okay, verse 18, and there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. So, no, hey, man, <laughs> a magnitude, you know, you got, uh, uh, you got the, the Richter scale. This, this is going to break the Richter scale. You know, if you've ever seen the movie, uh, what is that movie with the rock in it? San Andreas, and, and best believe when you have this earthquake, you're going to have some splitting here and there. See, the, the Lord's judgment is very mighty, man. So you're going to have ca cars falling into holes. You know what I mean? It's it's not like just, you know, now when it comes to these uh, missiles, you getting hit by the missiles. That's like the ultimate judgment. But you're going to have people, you know, being thrust through with the sword. You're going to have people starving to death. You're going to have people... Hey man, you're gonna have people getting getting turned into a snack. There's many judgments that are gonna befall this place prior to the Lord coming back. And that's why the people want us to shut up. Oh, don't don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Because they know it's coming. Alright, verse 19 it says, And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. So this place. And that's the spirit, because that, that that wind that wind started picking up. It says, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before you. How about Shemiah shot? So you know when you when you have something happen that just pisses you off, and it's right in front of your face. You know you got that that guy that, that stole your bike. <laughs> you know, <laughs> guy that stole this is the guy that stole. Well, really, really, this is like. Uh, uh, somebody who, who stole your wife, right? E, e stole us, you know what I mean? E took us captive and it's tried to basically put us away, to not, not let us know who we are, right? So the Lord is remembering that, right? The Lord, the Lord is going to, he's remembering that, uh, now that's why these judgments are befalling E, but it's going to get to the point where it's, it's, it, he's going to send his son, man. All right, because because you haven't even you haven't seen a, a speck of the of of the heavenly Father's anger. All right, you you and th that's to you other damn nations, man. Okay, you you haven't seen a speck of the Lord's anger. Okay, the Israelites we haven't seen a speck of the Lord's anger. Okay, he's he's literally like just just thinking about it, just thinking about how angry the Lord is going to be. All right. And great, and great Babylon came in remembrance before Yahweh to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Once again, it's through Yahweh Shai, right, that the Lord is going to exact his, his vengeance. It says, verse 20, and every island fled away and the mountains were not found. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven. All right, so who, so... Uh, going to verse 20. Who Who's standing up against the Lord? Nobody. Who's standing up against the Lord? Who's the Lord? Verse, 20, uh, verse 21, continuing on. 
And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent. And I, and I don't know exactly how big a talent is, but it's whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, it's, it's probably heavy, okay? And men blaspheme Yahweh because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. It's gonna be, yeah, man, it's gonna be missiles. It's gonna be, man, hellfire. The Lord is gonna be opening. Hey, man, this is the Heavenly Father we're talking about. The Lord is gonna be opening up, you know, <laughs> hey, man, hey, He could open up literal, you know, uh, uh, holes in the sky and just start raining down fire. Raining down missiles, he's raining down lasers. You know, this is the Lord, man. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit more of uh, of the video from the elder brothers. You know, and that's that's the spirit. Sometimes you you're on one subject, uh, and in in one little part, uh, kind of segues into you know into something else, but it's it's all the spirit. You know, <clears throat> hey, as, it, as it says, Song of Solomon, chapter four, it says a spring shut up, a fountain sealed. Huh. Just, just to add to what you said, there's a spring that shut up. Like he says, it's going abroad. Though you had everybody as if like, like it's, it's so plenteous or, or uh, understandable to us, but it's just like, you, you don't get it. Like it's, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, I was sure I said it best in Matthew. You said, I don't do nothing in, in secret. It's some, something of that nature. Yeah, I have nothing. I have said nothing in secret. Yeah, but yeah, it's a mystery. mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it says, I would, if, uh, it, it says, if it, it be head, it's head to them that are lost. Yeah. Because they, <laughs> because it, 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 he not hiding it. The Lord said, if you do, and John, I have done nothing in secret. But though yet he says hey from everybody, man. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I got to back that up. I, you don't mind now. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's Proverbs 8 and 9. They are all plain to him that understandeth. Yeah. And are right to them that find knowledge. <laughs> cool. Yeah, <bro. laughs> and it's and, 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 and this the thing, though. We didn't just... We didn't just un come out the world and understand this thing. Like <laughs> the Lord put it on us. All right, yeah. hey, that's another thing. Jake, like, oh, that's why it's a big fingerprint contest. Or oh, you think you know the truth? Or oh, you think you know? No, the Lord say I gave it to whom I wanted to give it to, man. Yeah, because it's, it's it's so crazy that you say that. Cause you know my journey and the thing they think you you know your, your your people when i say your people your family members your friends they think you went to all of a sudden you went hidden for a couple of months and went to bible school <laughs> no it didn't happen that way this was <laughs> man. this just came from this came from the heavens man i ain't go to school brothers on this thing ain't go to school <laughs> and, 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 and let, hell fucking eat my teachers on a, on a board <laughs> writing mm -hmm. scriptures and shit no man this is I can't even perceive how this came, man. Yeah, yeah, same. Back I, I back can't. then, when I found when I found the other puzzle, I thought I was the only guy between them in New York and me. I thought I was the only person in the world that knew this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the only guy in Houston. Knew this. <laughs> you know, but yeah. you know, you find other like men, other like men like yourself, but you supposed to attach yourself to, man. That's the beauty of this thing. But keep going. They got some more meaning in that thing, man. It says this three and ten to the intent that now unto the principalities and, and powers and heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of our power according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in the Mashiach Yahweh our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the fate of him. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Yeah. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our our Lord, the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you 
according to the riches of his glory to be stricken with might by his spirit, spirit in the inner man. Yeah, what Bro, Paul was you... saying, yeah, yeah, strengthen your spirit, meaning put the wisdom in your spirit, like, like I just mentioned. In other words, like, listen, unless he strengthen your inner man, there's no way to go, hey, you can't go to the gym and exercise your inner man and just be like, all right, I'm ready to go break down the, the Bible, I'm a prophet now. Ain't no way you can work. How you gonna work? exercise your spirit? At least the Lord turn it on, man. All right. Maybe you gonna, gonna put one of them fucking helmets with all them wires coming out of like Esau dude. Probably get <laughs> yeah. It with electricity and shit. Yeah. Go on, yeah. you know, different. Come on, man. I know come from man. It's in the back of your neck, man. <laughs> you know, you know, like yeah, like like the brain always experimented on Pinky, trying to you know. Go yeah, ahead with his move, man. Like, yeah. come on. What he, he was trying to put fucking, uh, you know, uh, knowledge into Pegan. Pegan was a dummy. Well, that's, matter of fact, that's, that's the perfect scenario when I'm talking. He was, a, he was a dummy that no matter what he could do, he couldn't get it. And the brain was like, you don't, you don't get it? He had Pegan like, I don't get it. Like, he asked him every day, what are you trying to do? He's like, I'm trying to take yeah. over the world. You know, like yeah. every day he asked the man, like, what are you doing? <laughs> he like every episode. Every fucking every episode. episode. Every episode. Yeah, 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 yeah Kabar, you you know, you probably was in the spirit world when this was <laughs> out, but nonetheless, he asked the man every episode, like, what are we doing today? And it was the same agenda. All right? It's take over the world. It says 17 that the Mashiach may dwell in your hearts. By faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height, and to know the love of the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, which passeth knowledge, that ye may, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of our power, Yahweh. That's right. And like I said. It's beautiful, man. And the script, man, the scriptures, they just, they just, they just hit, man. They just hit, like, this, you know, it, it hits, <laughs> it gets, gets harder, you know, hard, harder than anything, man. You know, and it's through faith. It's through faith that we believe these things, man. It's through faith that we believe, you know. <clears throat> All right, so hopefully this was edifying. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha Rakakwadash. Once again, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and the salutations to you, uh, hopeful elect Akim out there, you brothers who are pushing this word of sincerity and in faith all across the four corners of the earth. All right, you brothers stay prayed up. gonna be able to control the elements man everything is gonna be ours coming real soon you know we just have to continue to push forward for the spirit power of Yahweh Shai. you know and this is our trial period just gotta stay prepared you know you brothers you know, I look at all you you different you know sincere brothers man I look at different videos you know and there are different brothers that I've never seen their videos before you know yet I'm rooting for you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, you know, through the spirit, you know, Lord's will, the spirit stays on me, you know, to continue to, to keep pushing forward, you know. And I pray through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai that, you know, that the Lord doesn't take his Holy Spirit away from me, you know. And in order for that to, to happen, I have to continue to prove myself, you know, you brothers, Continue to you know prove yourself through the spirit and power of your high Hashem Al Shai. We're we gonna make it, man. Who's with who's with me? This is your brother. Okay. This is your brother. This is your brother. This is your brother here, man. Okay. This is your brother.
your brother. This is your brother through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. You sincere and you hopeful alike, man. Okay. All right. So once again, I call Halal Yahweh Hashem Yahashai by Hashem Harakakodash. You know, this is your brother Giyar Ira. May the Heavenly Father continue to watch over you, you sincere brothers, man. You know, continue, continue, hey, continue to to look out for brothers. You know, like I like I said, this you know, this is your brother. You know, so we, hey, you know, like like the elder brother said, man, we we all we got, and you know, we got family, relatives, or whatnot. But your real family is the hopeful elect. All right, shalom.